Hello, I'm your friendly neighborhood, Luis Perez. Now, today's video is going to be another top 10 list. But as you can tell, you probably have seen a significant difference between me and Jason. Probably the fact that Jason is more preferable to Marvel and mine more DC. But if there's one thing we cannot deny is we don't we all we both like movies. The co okay, we 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 like different the different companies that make the movies, but we like film. But since I'm a big fan of malls and I'm a big fan of movies, I only I, I only made sense I make a top ten list of my favorite DC movies. And sometimes you have to go for the un for the unoriginal. This is my top ten favorite DC movies. Strap on by and let's get on. On the top ten, on the number ten spot, we have Batman Forever. Now I know what you're wondering. Really, you're going with Batman Forever? That movie isn't even that memorable. Now granted, it's memorable, but it's still a very good movie nonetheless. It has, it has good acting, some a pretty well women's I mean, story, good characters for the most part, and some good uh, action scenes. Now there are a few things wrong with it, of course, like the cheesy dialogue, the 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 nipples, and Two Face being the Joker only. Well, the Joker he really doesn't have the same character, but still, but still. George Clooney, no, not George Clooney, he was a terrible Batman. Like, the actor that plays Batman in this movie does a very good job, even though it's not how it's goofy. Don, uh, O'Donnell, it actually has a, does a pretty good job as Robin, he's not the whiny one that he is in, in a future film. And the Riddler is in a whole lot, as Jim Carrey is great as the Riddler. So overall, this movie is good, deserves on number 10 spot. Number 9! Batman Returns. Now this one has very mixed opinions. Some people love it, some people hate it. Honestly, I love it. Well, not love it, but I like it. The reason is because it still shows the same atmosphere that Tim Burton is in. Of course, people accuse it for being too dark. But seriously, Batman, that's the whole point. It's a too dark? Well, I don't care. The characters are enjoyable, the actors do a great job. Michelle Pfeiffer actually does is it Michelle Pfeiffer played her? Oh my goodness, I am so bad with that with, with actress names. Anyway, the anyway, Cow I actually like Cowboy in this movie. Sue me. Danny DeVito played played the penguin to a T, even though he wasn't the comic penguin, he still did a good job. And the story I actually like. It had good actions, good effects, good atmosphere, good story, and good characters. Next No no now for the number seven spot. My number seven film that I personally enjoy from DC is Oh boy, it's really gonna drop this. You know, this is the problem with doing top ten lists in this big You know, I should always get a score before I do these videos. Number seven is Green Lantern. I don't know. I just had to try something. Green Lantern. Now I know a lot of people have m very mixed opinions when it comes to this film, um, but I personally enjoy it. Like it's not the best, it's not the worst. Like the actors do decent job, especially Mark Mark Strong as as Sinestro. He did a great job. Um, I like the special effects. Yes, I actually do like the special effects. Um, and well, Ryan Reynolds wasn't the perfect choice for Green Lantern. And he he did as good as a job as he, as he could. I can't blame him for that. But yeah, he did a, It was a good movie, and it, and it was an it was a watchable at, at most, really. But yeah, Green Lantern. Number six, Man of Steel. Yes, yeah, like you already feel the bandwagon. Hey, at least I put it in my fa in one of my favorites. Man of Steel is a 
different interpretation of the, of the Superman mythos. But it's still Superman, if you really look at it. It's dark, it's gritty, it's realistic, but you just kind of get used to it. Once you get over that whole thing and that, oh, he's like that bad, man, it's pretty enjoyable. The special effects are awesome. The soundtrack, beyond perfect, even though it's exactly like, Hong, exactly like the Dark Knight. And the actors do as good as a job as they could portraying these characters. Overall, it's a pretty enjoyable film. Number five. Batman Begins. Now, Batman Begins is one of those films that you you have, it it Batman Begins is more is one of those films that it works more as a character study than a comic book. Sure, there's a lot of things for the comic book fans, but really, it's, we're only here for the character stuff here. The story is very complex on telling the origins of Batman in a newer way, but still keeping the same material intact. This is how you do an origin story. You don't focus too much on the origin. They only use the origin material when it's necessary. This uh, this was great. The acting is great. Yes, even from Christian Bale, Liam Neeson was an amazing villain in in terms of Ra's al Ghul. He was a perfect choice. Um, I don't know what the guy that played um Scarecrow. Um, I think it was McMahon. No, not McMahon. Um, I think it was my Julian. No, not Julian. Uh. Um, Julian Caesar? I don't know. I don't know. But the guy that plays Scarecrow, he did a perfection of a job. He was excellent in the role. And, and, and Commissioner Gordon was very enjoyable. He's not fat and weirdo that you see in the old movies. He actually does stuff. So yeah. So yeah. Batman Begins has a, sure the action's a bit clunky and you and I have my mixed opinion on the Tumblr. But it was still a good movie. I love it. I love the soundtrack. I love the story. I love the characters. It's just a great movie. Number four, Superman. No, no wait. Super, no wait. Number four. Oh my goodness, this is so complicated. Look at number four is the Dark Knight Rises. Now here's the reason why. Most people are, are familiar with the classic themes. Of the Dark Knight Rises, it is a perfect inclusion to the to the franchise, and it definitely deserves every single award that it's gotten so far. What well, didn't get any awards really? It didn't close out much of the Avengers. Dark Knight Rises shows shows Batman having to come from the ashes after a new terrorist named Bane comes in and messes up a place. Or he has to deal with his relationship with with his love interest, which is actually kind of cool. And he, and he eventually gets his back broken by Bane. Now he has to find a way to emerge from the shadows and become the Batman once more. The story is a perfection to, to the end. Sure, it can slow down a bit at the end, but there's so much character study here. Christian Bale is as great as he ever been as Batman. Tom Hardy is something as great as Bane. This Bane is awesome. Unlike that... Unlike that... Gas squash in in Batman and Robin, and it was perfection. The action scenes were awesome, the characters were amazing, and the story beyond perfect. Overall, this was a great conclusion to the franchise. Number three, Superman two. Now this one shows. Now this was an obvious choice for many reasons. Superman two shows Superman as he's pinned up against General Zod. And his cronies from destroying Earth. All the while, he has to live. He he actually forces himself to take away his power so he can stay with Lois Lane. The story is very good. The, I love General Zod. He is such an hilarious, but yet still menacing and scary villain. Like unlike the Michael Shannon Zod, this Zod actually scared me and made me laugh as well. Like this, this Zod. This is the Zod I prefer. Christopher Reeve is always going to be Superman, and oh, I can't say more. Like this is an amazing film. Like Superman 2, a great film. You gotta got watch it. You gotta watch it. Number two, The Dark Knight. Duh, what did you imagine? But I know. But, I, but even though I did put this on the on the number two spot, a lot of people are going to be commenting, saying, "Oh, why didn't you put it number one? It's the greatest comic book movie of all time." Well, made for you, made for you geeks, but not for me. That's for another one. 
This film is beyond perfection in many levels, near perfect. But there is still things I don't like about it, but I won't really point them out because I really don't want to talk bad about this movie. Overall, the characters are spot on. The story is amazing. The Joker, unimaginably creative. Like, the story is great, the action is great, the acting, for the most part, is great. Two-Face is given a better role in this, even though it's, he has short scenes in this. The Heath Ledger, Joker, I know I made a very controversial video, but Heath Ledger, he's the man. He plays this Joker well. He, he played my favorite villain well. And overall, this is just a great movie. I love it. I really do love this movie. But then you get to the number one spot. My number one favorite DC superhero movie of all time is Batman 89. Yes, I know you all want Dark Knight, but hey, for me, 89 will always be my Batman. Not only was this the very first superhero film that I ever saw, like, ever saw, like, so this gives me some close memories on my heart. Like, the story was just very great, you know. It gave Batman more mystery, which is pretty much what they were going for in the comics anyway. The Joker is just hilarious. He definitely does... Jack Nicholson definitely deserves more recognition than he got in... This is the whole Heath Ledger thing. But Jack Nicholson still was a great Joker. He deserves more than what he gets. The, the, the story is great. The action, while not the best, is still great. The atmosphere... Breathless. It's, it's breathless. The score iconic as hell and this is my Batman this is really my Batman some people say that no one likes the fact that Batman kills but I don't care Michael Keaton he's always gonna be the Batman for me he is Batman this the, the Tim Burton movies will always be my Batman take away the killing part this is Batman this is the definition of what Batman is dark conniving scary but still uh, but I don't like Christian Bell subtle Overall, this is a perfect film, and definitely my favorite DC superhero film of all time. Well, that was my list. I, I you, 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 give me, feel free to give your opinions down below. Do you agree or disagree? Comment down below. I'm, I'm your friend in the neighborhood, Luis Perez. Enjoy. I hope you enjoy the list, and see you next time.